central bank is said to act as lender of last resort when it's putting cash, liquidity as it's called, into the banking system to prevent the failure of one bank causing a panic so that cash is withdrawn from all banks and they all fail. This is a function that developed in the 19th century partly through practice but also through the advice of Henry Thornton, Walter Badgett and Thomas Jotlin. They all, they all attempted to persuade the bank to behave in this way. The bank did it in a crisis, the crisis of 1866, and it found that it worked so it, adopt, it adopted it henceforward. Other central banks have taken the idea up. Notice the central bank is simply lending on securities brought to it by other banks. It is not lending the money unsecured, and thus it does not have to worry about whether the bank is illiquid, short of liquidity, or insolvent, short of capital. And it's a good thing that it doesn't have to worry about these things, simply because the difference is very hard to distinguish, especially over a short period of time. It's the action of putting cash into the banking system so as to stop the banking system collapsing as a result of the failure of one bank.